yeah, we just need to take a good look at today's progress from outside where we can actually get a little bit of distance on the tractor before we close things up for the night. So yeah, not exactly um, displeased with what we got done today. So we're just gonna do this one, probably one take straight to the point, quick, get it done, behind the scenes style. Doesn't matter if I trip over my tongue, stumble on words. We're just gonna roll through it and try and get it, see we're already doing it. Try and get it banged out of the way. So just a quick update on what I've been doing for 5J1113. Lately, I know the feed has been quite dead. I think we're going on about 11 days since the last upload on it because I've just been weathering paint. Every like spray cup batch that I run through the paint gun is three solid days worth of work to make it look right if that's all that I do. So it doesn't take a whole lot to keep me busy and it's really hard to generate content. But I'll give you all a pretty good once around. We're doing it again once over of all the progress that's been made. So yeah, there's a lot more pieces on 5J1113 now than there used to be. We finished the upper engine side panels. So we went with the super dark theme again here to match kind of the dark color of the radiator, the super dark we went on the side iron, blended it a little more, darkened it a little more where it blends to that fender back there. Got everything weathered in on that side. And then as usual, went with the lighter shade over here. Really happy with the color match I was able to pull off from that to the existing somewhat brighter yellow pieces on the side of the engine. I There's no way I'm gonna get that any closer. So upper engine side panel in place there. Dirt guards, front and rear, it's kind of dark over here. It's hard to see, but I've got them weathered to the track frames and everything else. So that's dirt guards on the left side. Dirt guards on the right side, weathered in, a lot darker over there. Kind of the whole trend on this half of the tractor is just darker for some reason. But foot plates, I got those, I heavily like weathered them so that they can rust in because this dash spent so many years on the ground before we found this tractor that it got quite rusty. So when all that bare metal actually browns in, I think that's gonna match pretty good. So they're all in place. We have the brake lock working over here as well. So you can apply that right side brake, keep it on. We've got the oil pressure gauge installed. Good copper line made for that, nice fittings. Found an old type um, Street L that blends right in, looks right. And all right, so we're working on hood right now. I just spent about seven hours today just trying to darken that and get it to match a little bit better. It's really tough because the radiator shell is a little bit different finish than the dash. The dash is more orange and brown. The shell is a little darker, kind of some black accents here. Lightens up yellow over here. Just tried to fade darker to light, back to dark. And we are using that original paint that's on that cover that goes over the top of the starting engine for that access. So we're trying to do the new job to match the old job to match the dash that's weathered more than both of those. And I don't hate it, it's coming together. I got a little bit more work left to do, but we're getting pretty close on it. And here we've got air cleaner top. So this is what used to be black. Got all the black off, saved most of the decal, did some pre-shading underneath the yellow, sprayed the yellow, distressed the yellow, have not blotted or burnt that yet. And we're gonna try and match this original finish ring and this original finish heavy duty clamp. Found a jar for it. Got all that in place. Some of the miscellaneous hardware for the curved front bumper. Speaking of curved front bumper, here are, well, that's my bumper blank and I've started making the two uh, U-shaped brackets that join the bumper to the side irons and that's my bolt pattern template. And this one I got fully bent. This one I ran out of torch gas just as I was starting to bend the last one, but that doesn't really bother me any because, well, I'll just say the last piece for 1113 made it across the Canadian US border. It is in the States and due here tomorrow. So really excited about that. I was a little bit nervous with it getting across the border. Sounds like everything went just fine, so Tomorrow, we'll be able to show y'all what's what with that. So, really excited. And, oh, one other thing I almost forgot. I sourced 
a keyhole adapter piece for the front of that radiator shell. I was hoping it would have been here today for this update. It hasn't shown up. UPS has not dropped it off yet. That's probably going to show up tomorrow now that I made this video too. So had a lot of things kind of coming together for 1113. Oh, and also the, um, the second attempt C-channel roll has been completed. So that piece is ready to pick up in St. Paul, Minnesota again. So I've got hopefully a good bumper blank radius correctly for that. I've just been trying to roll all this stuff together on 1113 and get it to the point where I can do like the initial test drive on it. Once I can get the hood finished, weathered in, bolted in place, air cleaner top on, throw a quick stack on there, we're ready to go drive this around. And I've got probably another day to get the hood where I really like it. It's a lot better than the canary yellow that it used to be, but I am going to decal it because, well, I've got some surplus decal sets here and I should have that's the caterpillar diesel that goes down each side of the hood we've got a few other pieces here that I'm not gonna need for this but I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to weather these in to match because they're a bit shiny and they are going to have to dull down a little bit to better match the one that's left intact on the tank so we get the Caterpillar diesel down each side. Probably gonna have to knock chunks and corners off the letters and try to get some of the gloss finish off those and dull them down and still deciding how I want to do that. But all in all, love that tow hook down there. It's finally starting to take shape. It's starting to come together. So that's pretty much the update for 1113. It's just been a whole lot of, you know, paint, weather. And repeat over and over and over again for about the last week and a half really hard to find any content when you do that so haven't bothered filming it just been getting stuff done so that's where we are with 1113 like i said i think we made it in one take so behind the scenes style format nothing fancy get it done that's that you've heard it all you're up to speed exciting times we're gonna have the camera out tomorrow that last piece shows up stick around for that everybody i don't really like that ending um we'll say Tune in for that.